How's it going everybody? I wanted to bring y'all a little bit different kind of video and this is about aircraft mechanics or AMPs, general aviation or even commercial aviation and what I think is one of the most important things you can do for yourself outside of your training. Stick around. Now this might be a little bit of a weird take. It may be something you've heard before. It might be something you haven't heard at all. But I think that if you are an aircraft mechanic or an AMP, especially if you're in general aviation, but even if you are in commercial aviation or wide bodies or MRO maintenance, whatever it is, I think one of the most beneficial important things that you can possibly do is take some flight training. Go to a flight school and just be honest with them. Tell them, look, I'm an aircraft mechanic. I've got my AMP and I wanna do five or 10 hours worth of flight training to get a better idea for the aircraft. Sorry, I had to turn y'all off for a second because a bunch of people were driving by. That happens at airports. Uh, but anyways, go to your local flight school, your local FBO, wherever it may be, and take a couple of flight lessons. And if you want to get your full pilot's license, even more power to you if you wanna get a, a private pilot license for just a a VFR private pilot license, depending on where you go, you're looking at about a cost of $10,000 and 40 to 60 hours in flight time. Uh, and that's just an average, don't, don't quote me on that. It could be more, it could be less, depending on where you go to. That's just, if you wanted to get a full private pilot certificate, that's what you're looking at. But the reason that I say this, and the reason that I, I even tell my students this after they finish their general semester and after they finish their airframe semester, is that if they've got a little bit of extra money, I mean, you can fly an airplane for about 150 to 100, $200 an hour, um, or you can do a discovery flight for $100 an, uh, an hour, depending on where you're at, but you can't fly it during a discovery flight. That's besides the point. But the reason I tell my students this is that when you fly the aircraft, when you learn from a pilot more about the controls and the behavior of the aircraft in the air, what a stall feels like, um, what navigation feels like, how we navigate, how we use the radios, and all those things, it gives you a much better understanding of the aircraft that you would not normally have. And aircraft is probably one of the only places where there are lots of aircraft mechanics that do not have a pilot's license and do not have any sort of uh, official pilot training. And you wouldn't be a car mechanic, you wouldn't be an automotive mechanic and not also have a driver's license. I'm sure there might be one or two people out there, but if you're a car mechanic, you probably also have a driver's license. So it makes sense that if you were an aircraft mechanic, you would at least want several hours of flight training. Now, I'm not saying that this is necessary. I'm not saying that it's something you have to do. I'm just saying that it's going to give you a tremendous amount of uh, knowledge practically to go from, and it's also going to give you a much greater respect for why we do things the way we do things. One of the things uh, a, a fellow IA that I, that I know says is that I don't have an opinion I don't have my own thoughts. The FAA told me what to think and the FAA told me what my opinion will be. And you understand that more when you fly an aircraft, why certain things are of such paramount safety, why certain things are such a big deal. And I do really think that it is one of the most important things that you can do for yourself. To go ahead and answer a question that I get a lot, I am not a rated pilot. I do have about 46 hours of flight time in Cessna 150s and in 172s. I used to work for a flight school, so we do a lot of test flights after certain maintenance, and I would get a chance behind the controls and whatnot. Uh, but I never actually finished my private pilot just because I'm not passionate about flying the way I am about working on aircraft. I love working on aircraft. I love keeping them airworthy, and I love being a mechanic, but I don't have that driving desire uh, to fly. And flying is very expensive. Staying current with a, private, uh, with a pilot's license is very expensive, and renting aircraft is very expensive. And it's just never been um, a big hobby of mine, and I've always been able to do it enough with my clients. My clients and I go flying pretty regularly. Pretty regularly, There's at least a half dozen times throughout the year where I will fly with someone to go get the $100 hamburger or whatever it is. And every single one of my clients would be like, do you wanna fly for a little bit? Sure, and that, that's always satiated the, uh, the, the craving, that's always scratched the itch, if you will, so I've never felt the need to go out and get my full pilot's license. It's something that I will probably eventually do because I would like to have both a private pilot and a A&P IA certificate, I think that would be really cool. But no, I do not have it. A lot of people ask me that question 
and I am not a pilot. Which, ironically, when people see my arm, I, I don't think I've ever talked about this on the channel. That's the first question they ask me if they don't know me, is if I'm a pilot. And I'm always like, no, I'm an aircraft mechanic. So, here comes another one. With all that being said, I realize this was a little bit shorter of a video. This is the last day of the annual on this a36 tc bonanza behind me it has given me very little problems and i'm almost done with it i've just got to finish the interior i've got to finish doing the wings i haven't taken a single panel off inside the wings yet i've just done a fuselage tail fuel system and whatnot so i'm going to go ahead and finish this annual inspection i will see you all in the next video as always don't forget to leave me a like leave me a comment subscribe follow me on instagram join the discord shoot me an email if it's what brings you joy and happiness in your heart go build something and be easy